Today, I'm going to be giving a golf lesson to a legend, Richard Hammond. You'll know him from Top Gear, from the Grand Tour, from even his YouTube channel, Drive Tribe. Obviously, Richard typically loves his motorsports, loves his cars, but he's potentially found a new love in golf. So today, down here at Marriott Worsley Park, I'm going to give him a golf lesson. I'm going to see how he swings it. I'm going to give him some tips to hit it better. And I think we should have a little bit of a challenge with the lesson as well. I'm going to get him to hit driver and see how far he hits it. And then with some advice and some tips from me, let's see if I can get him hitting it 30 yards further. Nice. Okay, Richard, I'm going to let you drive. How are you? Because I think as expertise goes... Yeah, mate, honestly, there are, there, you're doing the opposite of what most people do when I approach any sort of vehicle. <laughs> really? Yes. Have you I... seen... I'm not very good at driving. <laughs> uh, generally speaking, yeah, this, this will end up upside down and or on fire. Well, I trust you and it'll make for a great video. There's not much gears yeah. and you're ready to go. We're just going to follow, follow along. And I think the first question is, tell me a little bit how you got into golf. Well, um, hang on, moving. Um, honestly, I've, I've spent a lifetime abusing it. Um, because anything that you don't do, you're a bit scared of, aren't you? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I wouldn't do it. But then I noticed a lot of my friends out where I live in Herefordshire, they all play golf. Right. And I was on holiday with a load of them in France, and they all went off for a round of golf. Um, well, they came back drunk. But they'd, <laughs> they'd obviously had an absolutely brilliant afternoon, and I thought, well, I want to be able to do that. I don't want to be, like, competitive. <laughs> but I want to be able to play a round of golf. I also want to do it because I've taken the mickey out of it all my life. And I quite like the idea of something that you've always mocked, having the brass neck to turn around and say, actually, I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I see why not. You can change your mind. And why, why have you given it some stick in the past? Because I'm, I'm easily led, uh, and it was peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> because my two colleagues do. I think you've been very sporting to forgive me. And in return, I will say I have no compunction about turning around and saying to the world, yes, I mocked it all my life. Actually, it turns out it's really quite good fun and I'd like to be able to do it. Off-road. Excellent. This has got a speed limit, Robbie. Absolutely flat out. <laughs> Right, Richard, we are yes. good to go. I'm intrigued, I'm excited. I'm terrified. Uh, me too. I'm also not very good at golf. I've had two lessons. Okay. I think we should start off with just getting a bit of an understanding of how you hit it at the moment. So we're going to start off with something quite nice to hit. This is a 56 degree, so it's a sand wedge. Right. I'm not going to tell you anything yet. I am literally oh, going to no. tell you. Really? All I want to see is yeah. how you currently swing. I'd like a bit of a baseline understanding of, oh, it's base. of what you know at the moment. It's base. And we're off. I topped it. Is that when I hit yeah, it on the top? that was super straight. Okay. You hit a few more for me. Was it supposed to go over there? I think your swing, without seeing it at all before those first four shots, it's better than what I expected it to be. And I think there's some real potential. I could get you hitting the golf ball a lot more consistently and a lot better. Hitting it at all will be a change. Without a golf ball for the moment, what I'd like to do two things. Grip change first, and it's not a big change. All I'm noticing, when you hold the golf club at the moment, your hands are almost quite apart. All I'm going to look to do here is interlock those two fingers. Right. The reason why we do that is we want the hands to be more connected and working together. That, genuinely right now, is a textbook grip. How does that feel? It probably will feel a little bit weird for it you. It feels a little away. bit weird. Probably. Yeah, because it's different. As you're coming down to hit the shot, feel like the weight moves to your left foot. Good. And you'll see golfers, as they come down, start to almost rotate oh, yeah. the toe. So let's try this with a golf ball with your new grip. And just focus, I'm not worried about speed, just focus on moving your weight around that left foot. Excellent. That, that movement was brilliant. The only thing missing then, you could have just done with a bit of contact with the actual mat. So again, move the weight around the left foot. Oh, that went up. That went up. <laughs> Didn't it? That went up. We need to focus first on consistent strike, consistent distance. We can tinker direction. You can fix direction much quicker than you can fix distance and strike. So again, just brush the grass, move the weight around the left. Nice. That's dead straight again. 55 yards. I think we can get this to, to 70 yards if we give it a bit more welly. Nice, dead straight. Love that. 60 yards. One more. Let's see if we can go a little bit more speed on the way down. Move the weight. That is fantastic. 
Look at that carry. Way 79. <laughs> 79 yards. Should we try to go longer clubs? Yes or no. <laughs> yeah, or, um, we're going longer clubs. So we're going to take smaller steps. So that's a sand wedge. Yeah. In between a sand wedge, you'd have a pitching wedge. Yeah. We're going to miss that and we're going to go to nine iron. Right. So this is the clubs a fraction longer because you want more speed and there's less angle, there's less loft. Yeah. So this now, I think the maximum distance you would possibly hit it is about 130 yards. So let's see if we can get closer to 100. Right. Is a different. I'm going to mess this up now. You not. Won't. Trust it. I hit it on the top. It's okay. I'm going to make only one very small adjustment. When you set up to a golf ball, there's quite a gap between the club and the ball. Just come a touch closer. Great strike. It does go further. Well, that went 82, and it yeah. wasn't your best shot. No. I think we've definitely got 100 in this. That Lovely felt shot. right. Lovely shot. <laughs> hey! No. Nice hit. Right, so we've just had a little breather. Let Richard have a quick drink and he's eager to carry on hitting, which is a great sign. He's doing really well. A lot better than I think he gave himself credit for. I think our next goal is if we can get him hitting a 9 iron over 100 yards, that'd be amazing. And I'd absolutely love to get Richard hitting a driver. No. <laughs> I hit it with whatever that bit is. Oh, yes. 107! Yes. <laughs> I'm genuinely elated about that. The club was traveling 82.2 miles per hour and the distance, 107 yards, which I think for you right now with a nine iron is phenomenal. It felt right. It felt I as, it, 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 it really did. It's, I didn't have to look at that to know, yep, that's the furthest I've done. Should we go with the big stick? Okay, I'll have a go. So what we're going to do first, we've got it, we tee the ball up. So we're going to stick one of these in the ground and tee it up. Because that's that when we're hitting driver, we need that. So I'm not trying to hit the ground, I'm just trying to hit the ball. Correct. And all we're going to do this time, there's two changes. I'm going to take the ball off the tee for a second. Yeah. If you stand directly in line with that tee with your feet together, okay, and all I want you to do is keep your left foot where it is, but take a, a shoulder wide stance with your right foot. Perfect. So the ball is what's classed as more forward in your stance, okay? Because we want to hit up on the ball. All I want you to do this time is just a couple of swings, just trying to brush that tee peg out the floor. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah, that would have been perfect. Let's go for two objectives. Club head speed. Okay. I think as, as close to 100 as we can. Okay, let's see, if we can, let's see if we can break 92 miles per hour. And let's see if we can get close to 150 yards in the air with this club. Just Dude. brush the tee and give it a rip. Using the cannon. <clears throat> I came off the deck. It's all right, you just hit the floor a tiny bit. No, I hit that with that bit. Yeah. So the good thing that you're not, you're not hitting the ground, which is great. You're possibly not brushing the tee, mm -hmm. which we could do with, and just not quite hitting close to the middle just yet. Nice, that was better. So 74 club head speed and carry distance 105. Nice. 77 club head speed and the distance on that one was 131. Okay, you've got this. Yes, that's got a bit longer. 139, 78 club head speed. Let me jump in there for a second. Yeah, I wanted to ask you to play a shot. You're gonna give me a target to try and aim for. Distance wise. Bloody massive. Okay, so I'll try and get close to 300. Yeah, go on, give it a proper time. Go on. You can hear the violence in it. <laughs> so 267 and 161 ball speed. This is honestly, it's like discovering that. Um, Swinging or performing in the opera or flowering, just things you've never tried or thought would be for you, are for you. Because this is great, I'm loving this. Did you start with swinging? Yeah, well, something <laughs> that you wouldn't expect to do. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't, I would never go swinging. Normally I would play golf, but then you discover that actually this, this is great because you don't even need to play around, you can just do this. I'd do this, can we have a bit? Okay, we're gonna go three more shots. Richard so far has hit 139 yards. I think he can get over 150. Let's do it, come on. It went 100, 128. 
Definitely higher. One, two, three. Nice. Go on, ball. Go on, ball. 128. Oh, that's not bad, though. Honestly, I think you've done incredibly well. What you've got so far, you've got good movement. You've got a good starting base to build from. You can hit your irons nicely. You're starting to get some consistency and you're starting to get some speed. The next time I see you, we can actually play around. I, that would, I'd be delighted if I could do it. All right, that would be amazing. Wrong. Richard, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe to Drive Tribe 2 and we'll see you next time.